everybody. Cheryl and Lady coming to you from the Ladies Garden and Home. And I came across an article, so I wanted to do a quick video on this because I think it's a very interesting subject for gardeners and something that is not really heard of too often. The article was from the Farmer's Almanac e-newsletter and um, they send one out every day and it's always got some cool information in it. But anyway, this is called Phenology in the Garden, Planting by Nature Signs. Um, what is phenology? Phenology is the study of cyclical natural phenomenon and events from bud burst to bird migration and then letting nature's timing help you understand when to plant and harvest. Native and ornamental plants act as nature's alarm clock by signaling that temperatures and precipitation are optimal for planting. So I guess this makes sense, right? I mean, you go off of the average frost date generally for your planting, but that's not always very reliable um, because an average over the course of, I don't know, 50 years doesn't, doesn't necessarily relate to what's happening this year, right? But um, I don't know if this works. I've never tried it before, and I, I wish I had known about this before because all of these, these flowers that they're talking about, I had in my old garden. Well, most of them anyway, but I don't have it in this garden since I moved. Okay, nature signs are different in every region. However, you should still relate to these examples. Okay, so here are some of the plants that they're talking about. Blooming crocus are your cue to plant radishes, parsnips, and spinach. That makes sense, right? Because radish, parsnips, and spinach are some of the cool hardiest crops we can grow. And crocuses are the very first flower that appears here in late winter. When the forsythia is in bloom, it is safe to plant peas, onion sets, and lettuce. Interesting they say onion sets and not actual like onion seedlings. The difference being the sets have, um, you, you get from a nursery or online and they already have a tiny bulb and um, as opposed to planting them from seeds. So I don't think that this would relate to my onion seeds, seedlings, but Half hardy vegetables, including beets, carrots, and chard, can be planted when the daffodils blossom. I kind of struggle with when to start potatoes because there's so many myths surrounding it, but I definitely have dandelions in the backyard, so I think I'm going to try first couple of grow bags of potatoes when I see dandelions this year. Perennial flowers can be planted when the maple trees begin to leaf out. When quinces blossoming, transplant cabbage and broccoli. When the apple blossoms fall, plant pole beans and cucumbers. By the time the lilacs are in full bloom, it will be safe to plant tender annual flowers and squashes. That makes sense because around here, um, for the most part, lilacs bloom Mother's Day. And I know that because I had big lilac trees in the backyard and I used to pick them from my mother every Mother's Day. Okay. Transfer tomato transplants to the garden when the lily of the valley is in full flower. Full-size maple leaves si signal time to plant morning glory seeds. Pepper peppers and eggplant can be transplanted when the bearded irises are blooming. When peonies blossom, it is safe to plant heat-loving melons such as cantaloupe. Anyway, so the article goes on to encourage you to check out what's going on in your garden in the spring and that um, there are other natural phenomenon such as bird migrations and the emergence of insects and amphibians also signify the coming of spring. So this looks like a pretty cool science. They call it a field of knowledge. Anyway, I'm going to try it because um, not going to hurt. I thought you might enjoy this article. I did. I thought it was very interesting and fun to think about as we go through spring together. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give it a like. I hope you subscribe to my channel and hit the alert bell because we're going to have updates throughout this month and into the spring and into the summer. From the Ladies Garden and Home, thanks for joining us today. Enjoy your gardening journey. Bye! <laughs> Say goodbye, lady. Lady.